What's up, Internet? We're here in South Carolina, where fireworks are legal, to do some explosion testing with transformer tubes. We have a stash jar packed with four M5000s that will cap off and detonate. For comparison's sake, we also have a bubbler filled with four M5000s. Now remember, don't try this at home, unless you're an adult that lives somewhere where fireworks are legal and take all the appropriate safety precautions. Well, unfortunately, the blast chamber got really smoky, so it was hard to watch what was going on. But clearly, the glass cannot handle the explosion, whereas the transformer tube held up fine. It's just bird marks inside. Now I'm going to use this Instron mechanical testing machine, equipped with a 20,000 pound load cell, to really put transformer tubes to the test. Both the ice chamber and the base held up pretty well on the test. The ice chamber took about 3,500 pounds before deforming permanently and the base took about 2,800 pounds. The ice chamber then folded in on itself which looks pretty cool and is definitely the shortest ice chamber we've made. Now for comparison's sake, let's try out glass. So the glass piece broke very easily at about a quarter of the load of the ice chamber. It's also the thickest wall piece that I could find, measuring at over 7 millimeters. So almost four times the wall thickness, and yet broke at a quarter of the load. Not to mention it totally shattered rather than just bending. Go transformer tubes.